So next we have Zi Liang Yi. Hello everyone, um, Zi Liang Yi here. Um, I'm also relatively new. I came to UBC at the end of 2017. So I, therefore I also ran a relatively small group. On the top right, you can see my group picture took last year, last summer. Actually, there's only one graduate student there. Most of uh, the uh, undergrad interns or visiting student, visiting professor. So this year, my group grew a little bit. We have now four graduate students, one postdoc, but still we work very close together and uh, welcome, let's say, both undergrad and graduate uh, to talk to me. So our group is focused on so-called two-dimensional materials, 2D materials. They are atomic thing materials, probably thinnest material human can make. They derive from so-called band walls crystal. Uh, the famous example is graphene. The first, the, the also the most famous example. You you get you can get a single layer of a carbon atom out of a graphite because the interlayer bonding is band walls like. So they are very very weak. I mean it's it's strong but weaker than, for example, the bonding force in diamond. So once you get a uh, get one layer of a carbon atom, you can actually hold them in hand and you can do a lot of creative things with it. You can stretch it, you can fold it. And a uh, uh, very exciting uh, direction is you can put one layer on top of the uh, different layer. Reason is, um, first of all, you can have um, a huge class of this uh, Van der crystal. You can put a different element on top of each other. You can imagine you will create the new properties. And uh, there is also a lot of dimensions that you cannot do in, let's say, uh, a naturally goon crystal. You can put a, a, crystal, a layer with different uh, lattice or from, with a, a different compound, or you can put them together, but with a relatively small twist angle. And this twist angle actually recently gave rise, as Josh said, a, a very uh, surprising discovery called the magic angle uh, superconductivity in a twist by layer graphene. And this is also something uh, my group is working, looking to uh, together with Josh group. So we actually run a, a, a lab together to manufacture this uh, heterostructure. Uh, so unlike Josh, my group is using uh, uh, optics to look into these uh, very interesting samples. So my our activities include ultrafast optics, which means you have a, a light pulse with phantom second resolution. You look at the uh, color of the material and see how instantaneous color can change. And we also combine light with the AFM so we can look at a very small, uh, with a very high resolution. But uh, to, in this particular case, we can look at a Marie pattern. So on the left and right, I put a list of uh, projects. I don't have time to go through on the right. I, because my field is actually in between the uh, fundamental uh, and physics and also some uh, application. But I put a star here because application, we are not aiming at a build an iPad or iPhone any, anytime soon. But this pro property can be used, let's say, in 10, 10 or 20 years in uh, the iPhone. Thanks, Ilang. 